Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We will now take up the next phylum in this kingdom, animal kingdom and the phylum is Aschihelminthes or it is also known as Nematihelminthes and the animals which are placed in this phylum are known as either nematodes or they are commonly known as round worms. Let us first talk about the general characteristic features of this particular phylum and then we will take the example. They are triploblastic that means all the systems develop from three germ layers. They show bilateral symmetry that means the body can be cut into two equal halves only through one plane and they are pseudo coelomates that means the body cavity is pseudo coelom. Now one thing which we see for the first time in this phylum is this is a unique feature from here it starts that they have tube within a tube body plan. This means that sorry body plan this means they have a complete elementary canal. So one end is going to be the anterior end which is mouth and the other end is going to be the posterior most end that is the anus or in one worm we will give another name to that opening and we will also talk about the reason. So they have complete elementary canal tube within a tube body plan. This is seen for the first time in this phylum that means in the previous ones this was not the case. Now one more important thing which is seen in case of uh, ASCII helmets that their body wall is made up of three layers. The outermost is cuticle and this cuticle is going to protect them from all the juices which are there in our elementary canal because they are found in elementary canal they are endoparasites most of them. The second is the regular body wall which is called the epidermis and epidermis is syncytial. Syncytial means it is multinucleated cells. It is made up of multinucleated cells but here the term which is given to these multinucleated cells is syncytial and the innermost layer is the muscular layer and the muscles are longitudinal muscles only that means they do not have circular muscles. So the body wall is made up of these three layers which is again a very unique thing about this. One more very important thing which we see in this phylum it is written as utili. Utili means the number of cells in every system are going to remain the fixed, uh, fixed numbers. So number of cells in every system is fixed. So if for example one system has say 10 cells so from the time this uh, round worm is formed till it gets completely grown up the number of cells are going to remain 10 in that particular system and that property is known as utility which is again a very unique feature of the ASCII helmets. They show sexual dimorphism. 
that means here the males and females are separate and females can be distinguished from the males very easily on the basis of the external appearance or the morphology. We will take few examples and the first one is Ascaris which is commonly known as the round worm and it is Ascaris lumbricoides commonly known as round worm. Here the males and females they are different they can be easily distinguished from each other. So if we talk about how the male and the female they appear the male uh, is smaller as compared to the female and if we draw the body we would find that they have cylindrical body like this and the posterior end in case of males is bent. In case of females, females are longer and they have straight body. The mouth is anterior, so this is mouth. This position is same in case of the males and the females, so it is anterior which is mouth. Then there is a tiny opening here which is the excretory pore. This is also same in case of both males and females. Now coming to the next important thing. The posterior end in case of males has an opening and this is known as cloaca. And we know cloaca is a common opening for three systems, digestive system, reproductive system and excretory system. But here it is a common opening for digestive and the reproductive. That means in case of females there is a slight difference. The posterior end has an opening and this is known as anus. That means this is only the opening of digestive system. So in females posterior closer to anus is the genital pore. So in case of females opening of reproductive system is separate and opening of digestive system is separate whereas in case of males there is a common opening for digestive as well as for reproductive. So this is for digestive and reproductive system the opening and this is known as cloaca. Now in case of males near this cloaca there is a slight projecting structure this is known as copulatory seta. It is also sometimes written as pineal seta. So this would help in copulation. So externally we can distinguish between the male and the female. Internally also there are certain very peculiar differences. One, in case of males there is only one set of reproductive system, one set of reproductive system. That means there would be only one pair of testes, all associated glands, just single, single, single set. And in case of females, there are two sets of reproductive system. And this is known as, this condition is known as monarchic and this is known as didelphic condition. So females have two sets of reproductive system whereas males have only one set of reproductive system. Now how do they complete their life cycle? They are monogenetic monogenetic that means they complete their life cycle only in one host and that is human but how do we get this infection normally this infection is seen in younger children and that is direct or oral direct or oral this is how the infection reaches us and the round worms they live in our digestive system they depend on the food which is partially digested and they are 
anaerobic they feed on partially digested food and as they are endoparasite there has to be a structure or something which is going to protect them from our digestive juices and that job is done by cuticle the disease which is caused by roundworm or ascaris is known as ascariasis which results into uh, irregularities in our digestive system it may lead to diarrhea different uh, abdominal cramps and all those things which are associated with the digestive system and it is very common in children because uh, with the help of this contaminated things they touch here and there all those uh, pathogens they reach into their body so this is one important example of as uh, the phylum Aschihelminthes or Nemathi helminthes.